offered a couple of questions and then we'll open it up to all of you. So first, I think in some ways this must have been a really fun character to play because he's so complex and um, there's great moments of comedy, but also kind of love to hate him at moments too. And so I was wondering, one, like what you did to prepare in terms of working with the director, Ruben Oslin, on the character, as well as I think the ensemble works so well together. So how did you do preparation as a, as a group for the, the role in Ruben? Um, usually as an actor you get the opportunity to to be smarter and better looking and funnier or <laughs> something than you usually are and this boy was quite the contrary <laughs> so it was to take out your lower self um, and to do that without without no fear and also, me and Lisa prepared quite quite a lot because we were going to play a, um, a couple who's been together for 10 years. So we, since she's living in Oslo and I'm in Stockholm, we Skype every single day for three months. At the beginning, it was fun. At the end, we hated, we hated each other so much. And now, are we going to Skype again? <laughs> but uh, yeah, so, so we wanted to create that kind of atmosphere that where we didn't love each other. <laughs> and then I was wondering, is any of the scenes, like the comedic scenes, like how much of it is scripted or is there some improvisation? I think Vincent is so fantastic. Mm. So, right yeah, that, no, that's, 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 that's the shuttle. That's it. Yeah, yeah. No, everything is in script, but Ruben was writing simultaneously as we, as we were filming it. Uh, he got some new ideas and hey, why, why don't we try this? For example, the crying scene was first at the beginning. I must tell you about that because normally when you see a crying scene in movies, you it, uh, when you see a male crying scene, it's very poetic. But, no, no, not pathetic. Oh. Poetic. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean by that? <laughs> so, no, so, so in, in this uh, shot, we actually wanted to do the pathetic. We, uh, we were inspired from a YouTube clip, you can see it later, uh, it's called The Worst Man Cry Ever. <laughs> and uh, to see the man burst out so much and open up, uh, you don't see it in films, you don't. And that's what, what we try to do. And yeah. So please raise your hand if you have questions, and I'll call on you right here. Did you do the ski scenes yourself? She's asking if he did the ski scenes himself. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I actually had to stop. Uh, to tell you the truth, when we were casting it with Ruben, uh, he asked me, do you ski? Of course, I'm a great skier. <laughs> then, we, then when we went to the Alps, the first day I said, I must tell you, I lied a little bit. <laughs> so, so he put me on ski training, and so I not the off piste. I don't do that. That's the other. Yeah. How long in the making was it? Like how long did it take to make it? So the question is, how long did it take to make the film? How many days did you shoot? Yeah, I shot sixty days. And Ruben has a very special method. He shoots every scene like between 30 or 50 times. <laughs> Normally, he just shoots one, one scene a day, as a one camera position a day. But this, we had so much finance that we had to do make two scenes a day. And he was like, oh my god, two <laughs> every day. I can't do this. <laughs> but, yes. So they were long days. Yeah. So we shot it for like one year in different locations in the French Alps, in the border between South Tyrol and Italy, and in Sweden. I think there's a question down here. Okay. Oh, right here in the back. When she, got off, when she got off the bus without her kids, was he even then? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's up to you to, to decide. But I think you want to explore, like, uh, if, if the man do run away, and if the woman run away, would you see as would you see at it the same? I think it's something something like that. <laughs> also, I, it was um, 
in the Swedish newspaper because there been, has been big debates about uh, what is a man, what is male, what is, what is the female, what role do you have, what uh, expectations do you have on yourself, on the other, in relationships and so on. And uh, it was an article about a guy who said that the male isn't, hasn't any worth by himself. Uh, he's for a higher, higher meaning to, to take care of the, of the collective, the, the group of people. It can be a, a football, football, uh, what do you say? Team. Uh, no, not football team, but the, the hooligans or a political course, and, but uh, yeah. Take care of the group. Mm -hmm. Yes. Are we supposed to assume that she faked being injured or hurt on the mountain to give him confidence? What was your? <laughs> well, after he carries her down, she marches right back up. Yeah. 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 She doesn't play very well, does she? <laughs> uh, but I think it's uh, that she's trying to save the family. When when we're going up there, she sees us, this wreck of a family, and she's like, "Oh my God, how am I going to save this?" So she sets up the scene to get the male his dignity back. Yeah. yeah. Mm, I think all the scenes we did at the hotel um, before the cry, actually, because the cry is some kind of communicating. But the scenes when you are in yourself, you're not able to to make any thoughts. You know, you don't have any direction in your life. And I think that was hard because we were shooting um, twenty four seven, actually. And we were at this really luxury hotel in the north of Sweden, and, we had, and it was closed for the season, so it was kind of shining uh, <laughs> sensation over that. And um, we had our clothes from we woke up to we get to sleep, so we became those characters, and it was yeah, that was hard to to be in the state. I was like, I must go to therapy. I must go to therapy. <laughs> <laughs> I hate myself. Yeah. Right here. Uh, I had a question. If you were surprised where people were laughing during the movie, mm -hmm. is where the places where people laugh through design always? Now, what the people think? So the question is about the comedic moments and where people laughed in the film and was he surprised where, when he's seen an audience, have you been surprised where people, when the audience has laughed? Yes, I'm very glad that the, that the humor goes through because first I thought it was very Scandinavian humor and will people abroad understand it? But I think that where you see struggling people who goes into themselves and being pathetic and being pathetic is being a human, and being that is quite funny, I think. Uh, when you were crying scene, and, and, you, and you divulged that you lied, and that you were unfaithful, and uh -huh. that you cheated on your kids, it didn't seem to bother your wife. <laughs> did you hear the question? The question he said in the scene when he cries, and he divulged all of his misdemeanors, he said he said it didn't seem to bother the character of the wife. Well, I think she's quite bothered of, 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 of my whole person. <laughs> um, so that just adds something to it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, but I think it's made it quite representative because we have a big discussion in Sweden where we're talking about norms and genders and um, and um, also try to describe the hell of being a family. So I think for the, for the big debate in Sweden is typical. Yes. So 
inspired discussion in Sweden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right here. What is your background in terms of are you acting in television and plays and movies? Mm -hmm. and so forth? The question is, what is his acting background? Uh, I usually um, I act on stage. On, yeah. yeah. So I'm a theater actor, but then I've been do doing television and films as well. But this is my first lead. Mm -hmm. Up at the top there. The, the group of guys that. Rushman surrounded you late in the film. Uh -huh. Was that something created just for the film? Or that would have been some kind of ritual that I didn't quite understand. Is that like a club of skiers, or, or what was that? So the question is when you got rushed by the uh -huh. Is that something regularly done? Or <laughs> <laughs> it's European. <laughs> We shot it in the studio, and uh, it was so much technique. We built it up this hacienda, we had motors on it, and we had snow canoes. So we did that scene for two days. I think we did like 30 takes. Yeah. What? <laughs> yeah, I met her yesterday. She hasn't been able to see the movie yet. But it was described as, as uh, scenes from a marriage Me meets Haneke. <laughs> a combination of that. So she's, she's dying to see it, actually. And then up at the top there. Uh -huh. Where does the film go from here? What, what was where, where does the film go next? Where's the commission? Yeah. 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 What do you think? I, I'm not sure. <laughs> but I, I think that, that the, it's quite a positive scene because of the the last scene uh, you smoked that is. Uh, yes, I do. Uh, that maybe he have learned something from this. Where does the, the, the film go next to another festival? Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> yes, uh, tomorrow I will fly to New York and then Los Angeles because it's having this US release now, the 24th, and Magnolia Pictures is um, producing it. So tell everyone about it. Yeah, and we have showings for the Golden Globe and for the Oscars, so we'll see what happens. Mm -hmm. okay. Well, thank you all for coming and thank you.